some cool one-of-a-kind things at historic sites on Route 66. Starting at my campsite, riding Route 66 to Kingman, Arizona. Part 5 of my solo cross-country ride on my Tiger. I was originally thinking of making a detour to the Grand Canyon, but this fire made that impossible. Instead, I rode slightly south to Fort Tathill County Campground. Setting up just before it got dark and getting up before the sunrise. I was out early the next morning trying to get on the road before it got too hot. This is a good view of my bike setup when I ride cross country. I do carry extra fuel and extra water. My beautiful campsite for the evening. Say goodbye. Try and go out of here quietly. <laughs> another rider, awesome. <laughs> I haven't seen another bike in there. There was a concert here last night. Not sure who it was, but it was good music. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a ropes course in there. That looks pretty cool, actually. When I came here last night, it's kind of funny because the road names were not matching the names on the map. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm looking for whatever name it says, but it was actually called something else. It is 72 degrees out. Wow, perfect. It's going to get up to 100 and something. <laughs> so I am leaving early. But not to Sedona, that is south. I am going back towards Flagstaff. And look at those mountains. Beautiful. Oh, and there's a the fire. Still going. Some people in the campground were telling me how um, they had to go two hours around from Grand Canyon to here. And it is just before 8 in the morning. This is a pretty little area through the forest. I was able to clean all the dust off my <laughs> bike and the bugs, so that was nice. I can see again. Off of I-40, and I'm going towards Route 66. Woohoo! <laughs> it all of a sudden warmed up. It's 81 degrees out. 8.51 in the morning. And yeah, it's hard. Let's stay away from that. <laughs> There's the train. Saligman Birth Place of Historic Route 66. I never know if I'm pronouncing things right, so I hope I am. <laughs> Very cool. Route 66. Cool town. Well, too bad they're doing road work. Huh. I'm not even sure if I can get in there. I don't think so. Because it's one lane. One lane open. Keep right. Yep. <laughs> Roadkill Cafe, that's cute. <laughs> ah. No, can't get in there. Okay, gotta check this out. Oh, wild. Wow. <laughs> All right, totally awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> she says 
made for a Volkswagen. She made it. Inside the jail, this was 1860 in use on Route 66, and I've got to say it's uh, actually quite nice for this era of compared to other jails that I've seen. <laughs> Don't know really what that's saying, but, but uh, the other jails that I've seen are in Arizona as well, or other similar, and it's eight. So this one has the cell behind me. And, uh, actually, it's a couple benches now. I'll go in there inside. And it has a wood stove. Because it does get chilly here in the mountains. And the train's going by outside. It is 10.22 a.m. 83 degrees. So far, really perfect weather. There are lots of watch for animal signs. So far I haven't seen any besides cattle. <laughs> Not counting that as the animals I'm supposed to be watching for. Is Peach Springs on Route 66 in Arizona? Oh, cool. Dry Creek. It is very dry here. I'm told it's not always windy. <laughs> it's bad timing on my part. <laughs> there we go. Historic Route 66 Vista. Ah, pretty. That's cool. Historic house down there. Dust blowing across the valley. I think there's a lake down there. Let's see if that shows up in here. The lake, I mean. better. I think it's a solar farm. Which back there looks like a lake. At the top of the little dust storm over there.
like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Click the notifications bell and you'll be notified for my next video as I continue to ride solo across country on my tiger. And follow me on social media.